Well, what's going on, y'all? You know, um, first and foremost, just want to say uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening in. I know some of y'all don't have to. You don't have to listen to the word. You don't have to listen to a jack dog thing that I say. But um, for those that do, you know, I appreciate y'all. Um, it's not about me. It's not about uh, what I do. It's about me giving credit to the Most High and doing what he's called me to do, which is to give this word, you know, to the people that uh, are learning a better way, learning a new uh, and improved way instead of uh, following this, this heathenistic way. We're learning to follow the old way. And, um, you know, I always kind of started off with the Father's Heart Ministry, so I'm going to read that first. It says, the Father says today, there is something new on your horizon. Now understand that this isn't entirely new in the grand scheme of things. It's part of a long and established history, something of my spirit with deep roots, bringing healing, deliverance, and a complete shift to the lives of many. It's something new that we all finna do. It's something new that the Father's getting ready, uh, getting us all prepared to do. You know, and it's not gonna be what uh, we used to. It's not going to look nothing like what we've grown up to and what we've been groomed to do. It's going to look totally different. Um, it's going to be a deliverance. It's going to um, bring healing to your life. It's going to bring uh, a complete shift to not only your life, but the lives of others that follow you and listen to you as well. However, for you, it will have an unfamiliar quality. You've caught glimpses of it around the edges since the truth of it in the periphery of your vision and experience fleeting thoughts and sensations. But it hasn't been a core element of your path or your understanding thus far. So for me, it's like, you know, coming from Christianity, coming from following those ways into now um, following the laws, you know, really getting back to that, studying the Old Testament a lot more than I look into the New Testament. Now, don't get me wrong. I look in the New Testament, but I, I always read that Old Testament first. I, I even read the Apocrypha for some of them say not to read the Apocrypha because it literally talks about things that um, the so-called pastors, preachers, teachers of the word, you know, your, your leaders in the church, uh, so many of them have not taught us. And it's like, this is might be the reason that we stuck in the first place, because all we doing is what they tell us to do. But a lot of us, again, don't go back and study to show ourselves approved because we too busy taking somebody else's word for it. You know, because mama didn't brought us up or daddy didn't brought us up, whoever it is, grandmama, grandpa and them and brought us up to where we serve the man of God. We listen to this man of God. He is a true man or a woman of God that's going to lead us the right way, but ain't going to never help us with nothing. Now, they didn't say that, but y'all understand what I'm saying. Um, that all challenges begin right now. A wise steward in the kingdom brings forth things both old and new, as well as secrets laid up from the foundation of the world to bring them forth at the time at this time and this moment in your life and the lives of many others. So a real prophet, a real preacher, teacher of the word, a real man of the cloth, a woman of the cloth, whatever you want to consider it, they're going to give you the real deal. They're going to pull you up out of that mess. They're going to tell you to come up out of that mess that you used to, that's been given to you for so many years, so many uh, generations, that hasn't helped us the jackdaw thing. It ain't helped us not one tidbit. And then when we come out of there, then they want to talk about you. They want to say, oh, that's not a real man of God. He's not chasing after God. And I'm talking about me. And I'm even talking about others just like me. Uh, uh, even the women. They want to talk about them when they step away. But you didn't help us with some real knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You didn't give us the truth. So we got to go out and uh, search for it ourselves. Like the scripture says, study to show thyself approved. And then when you bring up that old stuff, that they say not to do, they want to condemn you. They want to say, you ain't supposed to follow the law or the statute commands. You're not supposed to be keeping the Sabbath day and all those things. But literally, when you break it down and you go back into the word, you see those people were blessed when they stuck to the old ways. You saw fathers literally passing down the blessings, 
You didn't see mothers just saying, oh, I don't need a man. Or you didn't see men say, I don't need no woman. I'm done with that. Like you didn't see stuff like that. You didn't see people encouraging people to stay in sinfulness. You didn't see that. You saw them coming out of it. Ah, shoot. Um, something that bit me. A wise steward or a wise uh, servant, if you will, in the kingdom brings forth things both old and new, as well as secrets laid up from the foundation of the world to bring them forth at the time and this moment in your life and in the lives of many others. This is the time for it, y'all. It, it ain't the time for all the nonsense no more. It ain't time for doing stuff for clickbait. It ain't the time to be leading people astray. It's not the time to keep people stuck in the heathen's ways. It's time to come out from among them. Um, embracing this will require venturing outside your comfort zone. So you're going to, have to get out of your comfort zone when it comes to embracing the calling that the most high has called you to do it, it, when he's purposed you to do something. I mean, you got to get isolated. You got to be able to listen to him. You got to be able to hear from him. And then he got to elevate you. You ain't going to be able to elevate yourself. You know, elevating yourself ain't going to be, Hey, follow me, click this, subscribe to this, um, you know, touch this, taste this, watch this, you know, that's not going to elevate you. That's going to elevate you the way the world wants you to get elevated, but it ain't going to elevate you the way the most high is going to elevate you because literally you're just doing stuff for your own self-righteous gain, but not to help many others. Um, Cause it's not about you feeling apprehension or even fear in the face or I'm sorry. Yeah. Feeling apprehension or even fear in the face of the unknown is natural. So, you're going to feel some type of way when you start bringing up stuff, when you start talking about things, when the Most High starts speaking through you uh, to people and, and, and pretty much, you know, exposing their skeletons or exposing uh, their sin and, and not to condemn them, but to bring them out from among it, to bring them out of the sin, to show them like, hey, you can't be doing this. And that's what the law does. The law literally turns you to why you should follow the law so you don't sin because sin will turn you back to the law. If you don't know sin, you got to go and find out what sin is. And to find out what sin is, you got to go back to the law. But I assure you, this is good. Very good. It holds intrinsic value, just like its enduring nature, because it's new to you. There might be an initial element of surprise. It might be new to some of y'all to start keeping the Sabbath day holy, you know, to not go out and work, to not uh, 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 buy things, to not go out and do things that you ain't supposed to do, to not go out and party, to not go out and go to the club or go to these games, you know, the NBA, NFL games and so on and so forth. It's, it's going to surprise you. Like it's certain things that they got you doing on certain days to keep you led astray. Um, this is perfectly normal. When you start feeling some type of way, it's perfectly normal to start feeling like, oh man, maybe this ain't the right way. Or maybe I should go back and do what I'm used to. That's perfectly normal. Cause even the people back in the day, you know, in the Old Testament, they did it. They wanted to go back and serve their masters too. So you probably going to be the same way as well, but don't do it. Otherwise, you're going to be walking around in that circle, you know, thinking that things is going to work out for you or you're going to get here, you're going to get there. And all you're going to be doing is walking around in that circle 24-7. However, don't let the surprise, don't let that surprise deter you. Hold fast to your face. Stay close to me, says the father. There's more for you to discover. And soon you'll be equipped to share this newfound knowledge with others. Stay close to the father. Stay close to his words. Stay close in proximity with the most high, a relationship with the most high so you can help other people because just like them, you was the same way at one point in the time too. But now that you come out from among it, now you got to help others come out of it as well. Think of it like this. You've traveled a familiar road for a long time. This day, I am walking you off your map and putting you a potential up in regard to your faith to bring every authentic word you've ever received to pass in a moment of time. So he says, think of it this way. You've been on the road for so long. And I'm talking about Christianity. We'll talk about it. You've been on that Christian Christianity road for so long. I was on it too. And eventually it's like, man, like, where is this road leading me to? 
You know, because all I'm doing is giving all my money, giving all my time to this 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 man that's just like me, or for some of y'all, this woman that's just like me, but they ain't helping you with nothing. All they're doing is giving you some word, and 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 they the ones getting blessed while you staying stressed. And you thinking that it's working for you because they say if you give me this, or the Lord says if you give this, it's better to give than to receive. And you keep on giving, 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 and next thing you know, you're struggling. Next thing you know, your bills is 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 uh like literally you behind on your bills. Uh, you're behind on your car payment. You you can't buy your kids no clothes. You can't put no groceries in your house. You're too busy giving somebody else your finances because they literally got you like in this trance of this is how it's going to work for you. But that's a familiar road. You're going to have to come up off of it. Now there's a new path branching off from one you know. It may seem daunting initially, but trust me, it leads to a beautiful and fertile uh, destination. Literally, what's going to happen is you're going to say this road is better than this road or this road is better than this road. The new road that you're getting ready to take, which is the old way, it's going to bring a blessing in so many ways. And I'm here to tell you the truth. I ain't got all of it right now, but I can tell you from getting blessed with a house out of nowhere and uh, getting blessed with a spouse out of nowhere, getting blessed with my children. Uh, it's just, it's been amazing. And, and the same thing can happen for you too as well. Now, I ain't trying to tell y'all to give to me and this, that, and this. I'm telling you what you need to do is you need to get in that word, you need to study it, and you need to start applying it. You know, put it into action. Uh, where was I? At? This isn't a detour, but an expansion of your journey. It ain't no detour. This is an expansion of where he's taking you. This new element will challenge your existing perspective perspectives, but that's a positive development. Growth often comes with a little discomfort. Y'all know that. I know that. I'm telling you the truth, man. I, I said it the other day and I'll say it again. The growth that I've gotten, it literally came with some discomfort. It came with some some uncomfortable um, feelings. It came with some uncomfortable situations. It came from him actually pulling me out of a situation that I thought I should have been in, uh, which is a marriage that I'm talking about. And literally, he pulled me out of that. And it was so uncomfortable because it was with somebody that I didn't even remotely want to be with, that I looked at as a, a, a sister, you know, never looked at them as a spouse or even um, uh, uh, somebody that I could be with initially because I never looked at her like that. And the same for her. She can tell you the same thing. She never looked at me like that. And then when the Most High brought us together, it was like we was very uncomfortable because my ex-wife told me that she was the one for me. Her ex told her that I was the one for her. So it was very uncomfortable for us. We was like, wait a minute, I'm trying to be with you. And you telling me I'm supposed to be with somebody else. Same thing for her. I'm trying to be, she was trying to be with somebody else and this person telling her she's supposed to be with me. So it was very uncomfortable. And then you put our kids in a situation to where they looked at her as Annie at first and looked at me as uncle. And now you got to look at like, oh, wait a minute. Now uncle is with mama and Annie is with uh, 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 daddy. I can't call her Annie no more. I can't call him uncle no more. It's like, it's weird, but it was an uncomfortable situation. And now he's got us to where we actually comfortable with one another. You know, it's been uh, two years now that we've been together off and on, but uh, I'm not, well, yeah, off and on because we still wasn't comfortable in the situation, mainly me. It was me that wasn't comfortable, not her. She really wanted to be with me, but I was still battling with some things and I can admit it. You know I mean? Hey, it happens. Um, what was it? This new element will challenge your existing perspectives, but that's a positive development. Growth often happens or comes with a little discomfort. Embrace the learning process. Ask questions. Seek clarification and trust in my guidance. I literally had to embrace this, this process, this learning process. I had to learn her. She had to learn me. We had to learn each other's children. We had to learn how to really submit to God and like, okay, God, Father, Abba, Most High, is this you? Like, is this really what you called us to do to be together? And it was like, for both of us, when we actually sat down, just remembering everything that we started together, how it all happened, it was like a movie. Because I was going through a divorce while she, well, I was separated, but we still going through a divorce, uh, while she was waiting on her spouse. 
And at that time, she was just my, my son's uh, teacher. <laughs> she was my son's teacher in, um, in Head Start. And, well, one of my sons. And I was just a brother, you know, in, in, in Christ that was literally helping her. And, and she was helping me in situations, but it never was like that. And then we started a prayer line, y'all, but we were still brother and sister. Then we went and traveled and helped people, still brother and sister. And we came back and we helped other people, got her sister, her family in the word, tried to get my family attached to it, just the same thing. And it was like, wow, we really started something together. God brought us together because she wanted to do this with somebody else. I wanted to do it with somebody else, but them people was no good for us. So the Most High brought us together and said, no, this is what I'm going to use you two for. Uh, it's an amazing story. I mean, it's almost like a daggone movie. Um, ask questions, seek clarification, and trust in my guidance. Remember, I wouldn't lead you down a path that wouldn't ultimately benefit you. So the path that I was on at first, the path that she was on at first, it wasn't benefiting her and mine wasn't benefiting me. We were literally like just stuck in a situation where we're thinking that we're getting benefits or we're wanting benefits, but not getting them. It wasn't until we got together that we started getting benefits. You know, he that finds the wife finds the good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. That's exactly what happened. The benefits started coming when we finally embraced that uh, the change. When we finally embraced the change, we finally embraced that the Most High was blessing us and he was helping us with what he's called us to do. And this is just the first part of it. I know it's a lot more coming, but I'm just giving y'all a little tidbit of the story right along with the Father's Heart Ministry. Again, I'm going to say, remember, I wouldn't lead you down a path that wouldn't ultimately benefit you. There will be an inev inevitable moments of uncertainty. But through it all, remember this, you are not alone. I'm not alone anymore. I couldn't do it alone. She couldn't do it alone. But us together, yes, we're not alone, but we're not alone without him. We're not alone without our creator, without Abba Father. I am with you every step of the way, providing support and direction. So he's with us every step of the way. He's been providing us the support and he's been giving us direction. We literally don't go anywhere besides work, but we really don't go anywhere without one another, without our family. This newfound knowledge, oh, excuse me. Uh, I am with you every step of the way, providing support and direction. This newfound knowledge will enrich your life and allow you to become a touchstone of wisdom, victory and freedom in my spirit for others. Share it freely. Like literally the story that I'm telling, I would tell it freely. I'll even tell the backstory of, of where I came from as a child, how I wasn't no believer in God, how I was Satan's child, you know, how I was used in that way, how I was cursed since birth. As I said on the live yesterday, I'm saying it again. I can give you the whole backstory. I wasn't about none of this life. All I wanted to be was a father, but how can I be a father without having a, a mother or a queen there with me to help me through it all? Because I can't do it on my own. She can't do it on her own. She can't have no baby on her own. I dang sure can't have no baby. So um, literally, he has to put you together. He has to put you in a situation where he uh, brings you together with somebody that you never thought that was going to be your wife or your king or your husband. Let's just say that, your queen. Putting that together, you see that you don't chase after somebody. The Most High sends you somebody. With me telling this story, I'm realizing now, I was chasing after so many freaking women trying to make them my wife that the Most High had to sit me down and show me what's mine, what he has for me instead of what my flesh wanted for me. Same for her. She literally was just trying to have a husband. She wanted a man to literally, what they say, wife her up. And, and she crowned him as her king, as the head of her household, as the uh, one that sets the tone and the foundation. And he brought us together on that. And I mean, she can tell the other side of the story. Again, she didn't know it was going to be me. And I didn't know it was going to be her. It's a very uncomfortable situation. But he's directed our path thus far. He's helped me uh, to be a better man every single day, a better provider, a better 
uh, um, I don't want to say trendsetter, but a foundation setter. He's helped me to be a, a better father to all of our children. He's helped me to be a better husband to her, a better uh, king and a better uh, man of God for him above all. Where am I at? Oh, share it freely. Embrace the criticism of the old guard willingly. They are the counsel of the uninformed who seldom think there is anything in my kingdom that they are not fully aware of and in possession of. Their scorn is a part of the price you will pay to walk where you are about to walk and know what you are about to know. So people talking about you coming against you, literally it's going to Pave the way for me to tell my story of where I came from, you know, because it ain't it ain't mine uh, to say that I elevated myself. It's for me to tell you what the Most High did for me. But that's by me telling my story. That's by her telling her story. And everybody that's come against us is literally just going to pave the way of showing how the Most High really works. As things unfold in part and here a little and a little uh, a little there, be faithful to share this blessing and illuminate the path for those who are also keeping a deeper understanding. That's why we got to literally get into this word right here. You know, that's why we really stay in it like that, us together. I'm glad that he sent me somebody that really dives into the word with me, that studies with me, that prays for me. Uh, we write stuff down and then we pray it out loud. And we get into this word 24-7. She supports me. Soon as I start preaching and teaching the word on the Sabbath day, I bring a lesson or something. She be the main one clapping for me. She the one that y'all hear in the background. She's the one that be amen and everything and come on. And it, I mean, she's the one that literally helps me through it all. And I wouldn't trade her for nothing because she literally is what I've been looking for, what I've been searching for, what I've been asking God for, but too busy trying to have somebody else in my life. Um, that wasn't right for me. So my word to everybody right now is follow the old way, man. Follow the old way. You ain't got to chase no man. You ain't got to chase no woman. All you got to do is seek the most high and let him show you who's yours, who's really for you and who not for you. As I said yesterday, um, it's not going to come with sorrow. You shouldn't have to cry for, um, who God has blessed you with. You shouldn't have to cry and ask God, you know, why this uh, man cheating on me or why this uh, woman cheating on me? Why is my wife or my husband uh, doing me wrong? No, it, it shouldn't be like that. That's that's literally God showing you that that person ain't for you. Now, again, if y'all can work it out or whatever it is, the most I bless y'all to be able to do that and y'all come together, then that's him, you know, fixing that situation. Because there are some lost people out here. There are some people out here that make mistakes. I've made them. Other people have made them as well. But again, if you got to chase after somebody 24-7, that ain't the one for you. If you got to literally wait on somebody that's uh, locked up and then they get out and they show you another side of them, that ain't the one for you. Because all they was doing was playing you and all they wanted was somebody to uh, to help them, support them while they in there. But when they got out, they didn't want no parts of you. They wanted their freedom to be able to go and do what they want to do, what the enemy want them to do. But they can't see that the Lord has blessed them with somebody that uh, money can't touch. You know, you'll go out there like me. You'll go out there searching for so many individuals 24-7, man. And you'll just end up in, walking around in that circle. Walking around in that circle 24-7, thinking that this one is for you. And I ain't going to name none of them, but I literally was walking around in a circle trying to be with this woman, trying to be with this one, trying to be with that one, trying to be with that one. But they wasn't supporting me. They not on the platforms uh, helping me. They wasn't even trying to help me with the vision that I was given that I was bringing to the household. They didn't even want me to uh, literally bring the word in there. All they wanted was some sex and somebody to literally watch their kids or help them take care of their kids while they go off and do their own thing. And it's men out there just the same, but I mean, I had that for women. Some may say I was a simp or whatever, but no, I just wanted to be a father, man. I was going to be a father to any woman that allowed me to be a father to their children and we had children together. I just wanted to do that. 
But you can't do that with just anybody. That's got to be somebody that God sends you, that the Most High sends you, and just as well as to the uh, woman. You can't just have every man out there, you know, all these baby daddies or all these men. Like, that's just showing you that you're just somebody's plaything. You're just something that some people can run up inside and put a baby inside and then leave you high and dry. So you really need to be seeking the Most High on who's for you. And when you go back to the old way, you should have a father in your life that literally shows you what type of man you should have or a husband that you're going to have. Like, he should be the one to really give you away. Like I did back in the day uh, in the Old Testament where the father literally was the one that gave the blessing on to the next one. You couldn't have his. Uh, you couldn't have nobody's daughter if you didn't go through the father. You couldn't if you didn't go to the father and receive his blessing. You weren't gonna be able to have his his uh, daughter at all. Like you look at um, what's his name? Uh, 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 Jacob. He had to work for his wives. He had to work for the suckers. The first one he got wasn't even the one he wanted, but he still was getting it in with her. And then the next one he got, I mean, he had to wait seven years. That's the one he wanted, but. I mean, literally, you look at that situation, and I'm just saying, the father gave his daughters away. It wasn't just any man running up inside of you and putting babies inside of you, and now this is your man. That's the problem with this world that we live in. Is there's no fathers doing what they're supposed to do anymore. He's too busy telling them that they could have boyfriends and girlfriends. They ain't have boyfriends and girlfriends back then. You had a spouse. You, had, you was a spouse to someone. You know, you grew up and... You actually lived a life. You wasn't going out there trying to be grown at an early age. And that's the problem with this uh, world that we live in. There's been so many of us that's been trying to grow up at an early age. You know, go out there and getting it in, you know, thinking that it's fun. And it might be fun, but then when the little wham, wham, whans come out, the babies come out, most of these men, they get to moving around. And then some of these women, they don't even want to be with your tail. Then they be lonely as hell with all these kids. And, and I mean, that's the situation that we're in. So that's why I say, which way do you choose? Do you choose the old way or do you choose the new way that they've shown us that we've been groomed to? I say, let's go back to the old way. Hey, y'all, if y'all like the video, if you like the content, hey, man, just um, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to. Like it, share it to somebody else. You know, hey. It ain't going to make me no never mind the word still going to get out there. The message still going to get out there. I just pray and hope that y'all receive this word of going back to the old way. Shalom, kings and queens, brothers and sisters. That means peace be unto you. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.